Okay, so you talk about your character in Dark Match. Uh, I'm Sarah Canning, and I play Kate the Great, who is one of the faces on the team. And, you know, she's just having a great time with her opponent, Misbehave. And then you get to see that relationship and uh, Kate's character evolve through the film. But I can't say too much about it, because it's a big spoiler. <laughs> okay, thanks. Well, um, could you talk about your um, character in Dark Match? Uh, yeah, her name is Misbehave, and she is one of those um, very hardworking, very talented professional wrestlers from the 1980s who's trying to figure out how to make it out of being a heel into, um, you know, being a face or at least feeling like she gets the recognition for the work and the talent that she has. Um, yeah, I guess that's like the gist of it, really. So were you uh, familiar with uh, pro wrestling before taking this role? I was familiar with pro wrestling, yeah. When I was really very young, I'm talking like five, six years old, I used to watch the WWF at the time, yeah. and Saturday mornings with my cousins, and we would all you know, pretend we were wrestlers and jump all over each other and pretend to beat each other up and do that whole thing. Um, and then later on in life, um, around the time when I started doing BJJ, there was a show, I think it was called Tough Enough, and you'll have to correct me on that, um, where you could try out and they would teach you essentially how to be a wrestler. And I had just started doing jujitsu, and a girlfriend of mine uh, and myself had really considered going down to the States and, and seeing if we could make it onto the show. And I think I just chickened out. I don't, you know, it just seemed like such a, a leap. Um, and also taking bumps just looked absolutely terrifying. Yeah. Um, which I'm very happy to have had the chance to learn to do on this movie, but at the time I was like, oh, I don't think I can do this. So I stayed stuck with jujitsu. Um, but yeah, so when this movie came out and I had the opportunity to revisit it, um, and I, had, I knew that I, I, I would have the opportunity to learn how to take bumps particularly, in particular, I should say, uh, I couldn't miss that opportunity. So were um, training for the wrestling scenes hard? It was terrifying at first, but we had really, really, really good support around that, and we had plenty of time to practice. And um, I think it's just like really feeling committed and uh, and determined to be able to do it. I really wanted to be able to 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 do my fight choreographies from being able to, from beginning to end, and I really wanted to be able to take the bump. So um, you just kind of have to shut that part of your brain off sometimes, and and just get it done. Yeah. All right. Thanks. So um, talk about um, your character in Death Dark Man. Uh, he's oh. one of the the darker characters of the film. Uh, part of the cult <laughs> that drags the boys in, and then we have our way with them. <laughs> so, is it, yeah, so, <laughs> so, our, uh, you, you look like you might be a wrestling fan. <laughs> I am a big wrestling fan. Yeah. Oh, I've worked with. Uh, I'm collecting the wrestlers. I've worked with uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Mick Foley, The Miz, uh, Big Show, Kane, and now I can add Chris Jericho to my resume. One of my favorites. So how was it working with Jericho? Amazing, amazing. Constant professional, uh, scary as hell, and uh, badass right till the tilt. Okay, all right, thanks. Thanks, man. Uh, so uh, what inspired you to do like a pro wrestling horror film? Uh, just going to wrestling matches and seeing how, how much uh, wrestling events are in a way like a cult. Uh, the fans are out of control. The storylines are really engaging, and uh, I was just at one particular wrestling event in my past, and I remember thinking, this is crazy, everybody here is crazy, and if you're not crazy, you're crazy. So um, I just fell in love with wrestling, and being a horror guy, I thought I'd love to blend the two ideas. So were there any particular films that you were influenced by? Uh, a lot of films influenced me. Um, I would say... Nothing specific and obvious, um, but I, I was definitely influenced by things like blood sport, you know, mm -hmm. just for the idea of like a bunch of people fighting. Uh, weirdly, I was watching Mandy a lot when I was writing this, so I think that that for sure was maybe a, an interesting influence to the film. But uh, no, I just I just love weird genre mashups. Yeah. And um, well, okay, <laughs> so um, so well, the casting of Chris Jericho. <laughs> Uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, we knew that when we were making a wrestling horror film, we'd be crazy to not have an actual uh, wrestler in the film. And luckily, we didn't just get any wrestler. We got wrestling superstar Chris Jericho. So um, I feel very blessed that not only did I get to make the movie, but we got to get him in it. Yeah, there it is. 
<laughs> okay, that's a good that's a good end point for that one. Okay. So. Yeah. okay. In addition to um, wrestling, you are a big horror fan. So, what do you feel about being in a film that combines the two? Yeah, it was interesting. Like uh, when I first heard that it was a wrestling movie, I was like, I don't know. And then I read the script and realized, oh, it's way more. It's 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 a satanic cult movie with wrestling as the backdrop. So it really is the perfect kind of mix. Um, but it's it was a, a great script and a great part. I was really happy to be involved. So in uh, playing the prophet, did you try using your own wrestling character or create an all new character? Yeah, no, no, this has nothing to do with Chris Jericho. It's it's a whole new character. It wouldn't be any fun to play Chris Jericho. I already played Chris Jericho, so it was a little bit deeper and darker than that. Okay, so um. How was the experience making the film? It was great. It was cold. It was uh, uh, December in, in, in Edmonton. And I remember it was just how freezing it was filming it. But, you know, and, that, and that's the thing. You do the movie, you know, 18 months ago, you kind of forget about it. So I'm really excited to see what um, what the final product is. And I, like I said, I know we had a blast making it. And I, I think it turned out amazing as far as what we filmed, what we got on camera. And I'm really stoked to see it with a crowd. I mean, that's what movies are, are meant to be seen with other people. So it's perfect to be here at Fantasia Fest and have our world premiere in such a, at a, such a prestigious event. So are there any other acting roles in the future for you? Yeah, there's lots of stuff going on. It's, it's been a pretty good couple of years for uh, for the different parts that I've been have, had a chance to play. So. It's exciting, man. Are you going to be in Terrifier 3? I am. Yeah, <laughs> filmed it already. Okay. Filmed it already. I don't uh, fare too well on that movie, but no, no one really does with Art the Clown. Okay, thanks. All right, man. Thank you.